Okay, so in this video, we're going to work on our um, parallax scrolling background. So we've got it this far, but we've got this problem where all the all the four images scroll from uh, right to left, and uh, they're looking okay. But we need to um, we need to fix it up so that it's actually um, they leapfrog, so that it it does the uh, the sort of eternal endless scrolling. So um, just to review quickly, we've, we're loading in our four graphics. Uh, City 3 and City 4 are, are sitting off to the right-hand side of stage. And um, all four of the, the graphics are calling this scroll city function. Remember, a function is just a group of instructions. And they, uh, when, they, when they call it, so when any one of these calls it, they, uh, they pass themselves into the function as, as self, so we then no matter whether it's city one or city two or whichever one, uh, it just becomes self, um, and it's changing its exposition. It's updating it, and saying make my exposition equal to my current exposition, but minus three pixels. And so what actually happens then is because we're saying minus three, so it, it's constantly adjusting. So it started well, one of them started at zero, the other one started at 480. And it's constantly saying, hey, remember it's 30 times a second on the frame rate, so um, make my position three pixels less than it was, which uh, just scroll it to the left. If you want to make it go faster or slower, you just uh, change this figure here. Okay, so um, what we need to do, though, is create a rule in here that says if... So, if it's true that self.x, if your exposition is less than negative 480, then... Um, and we want to do something. And um, else, if it's not, we want to do something else. Okay, so what do we want to do? If um, well, I'll just type it out, and then we'll see it in action. So make your if it's true that your exposition is at negative 480, which in in a sense means it's way off here, like it's, it's way off the left hand side of the phone. Um, if that's true, then we want to say make your exposition equal to a uh, 480, not negative 480, just 480, so put it, leapfrog it over to the right hand side of the screen. Else, um, well, that's when we, well, we keep our original thing. Make your exposition, your exposition minus, say, 3. And, um, okay, so again, we've got this function, scroll city, all four of those graphics or variables are, are calling it. 30 times per second because it's an enter frame event. There are other sorts of events like when you touch the screen or do anything, but just remember the enter frame event. If you need things like animation or, or movement, anything to repeatedly occur, like we need the uh, the X property of these graphics to uh, to constantly be updated, then you want to use an enter frame event, and they're called 30 times per second in Corona. So this function function just contains a group of instructions. It's been called 30 times a second. Once the variable uh, calls a function, it's then referred to as self in here. So self at different times means city 1, city 2, city 3, city 4, or whoever else wants to call this function. Not that anyone else will. Um, okay, so what do we got here? Well, it's always good just to test what we got. So let's see, we got these things, and we got this gap here, but I think this should work. Let's just keep an eye on it. So it's moving, it's moving. And, um, here we go. But, yeah, it's more or less working. Um, still a couple of things to fix, but we've got a, an endless, sort of, endless scroll. So, um, let's, we'll fix the gap in a moment, but one thing you might notice, it's not parallax at the moment, like the, the background, the background and the foreground are moving at the same speed. So we're going to fix that up right now. Okay, so to do that, we're going to go to city 1 and city 2, and we're going to create our own variable, local, or basically on this variable already. So we've already got a variable. We're going to create a variable in, inside this variable, and don't worry too much. It's pretty straightforward. So we're saying, hey, city 1, we're going to create something called speed. Now, one distinction here is X and Y are built-in properties, so they're variables of this graphic, but they're um, they're built-in, and you, X and Y are just they're there, and you can adjust. That's how you adjust the um, the position. And there's plenty of other sort of built-in variables or properties. Here we're creating our own. Speed is not not like a built-in one, but 
it's just a variable where we can add a number like this. So we're going to say, hey, uh, make the OR speed for the back one, uh, say, 1. Okay, so I'm going to copy and paste that. So city 2 is going to be that as well. And then I'm going to do the same thing here for city 3. But we're also going to make its speed 2, so it's going to be faster. So I'll copy that. And then the last one is city 4. And its speed is going to be 2. So we've got um, our own variable on each of the our four variables we already created called speed. And how we're going to use that is we're going to say here, um, make your exposition equal to yourself minus your speed property self dot speed. Okay, you've got to read this though as the number. Okay, so for city one, city two, it's going to be a value of one because that's what we assigned it to here. City dot speed equals one. For city three and city four, it's going to be two, and the effect it's going to have is um, we should if we go over here we go. So now we've got it scrolling. Um, so that the this one is moving two pixels per per frame every 30 times per second. The background's only moving one pixel, and we get our parallax effect. And we've still got the gap, so let's just fix that up. So easiest way I find is just rather than go the full 480, just go to 477. Um, actually, we can leave that 480. Let's check that. This just means it'll hop back a bit earlier, and hopefully that gap's gonna be solved. If not, we can um, just adjust it a bit more. Uh, I think that's it there. There's a tiny gap, but that's, that's fine. So, yep, yeah, it's pretty pretty seamless now. So we'll leave that video there, and in the next one, we're going to um, get that jet going and um, get it moving up and down for when we uh, when we touch the screen. Okay.